last video in the white blazer and my work clothes, okay? So this back to school video really is about um, words of encouragement, how to make the best out of your school year, how to get good grades, how to optimize your academic potential. your clothes they don't give a damn about your haircut they don't give a damn about your makeup I'm gonna tell you that right now at the end of the day your teachers are concerned with the fact are you learning are you retaining this information are you able to apply this information and create something new solve a problem this is what your teachers are concerned with the first point in optimizing your academic potential is organization. In order for you to complete a task um, and to complete a task successfully, you need to manage your time. You have to have task management skills. I know these are all things that people have told you and tell you all the time, but literally write this stuff down. Like get you an appointment book in your phone. If you, you know, use your apps, use your calendar, Punch this stuff in your phone, okay? Get get reminders, whatever. Keep you a to-do list. Check these items off your list. These are old school tactics, but they still work. They have all your deadlines, all right? And make sure that you're planning. But you're under 18, you're a student, student under 18, secondary school. Um, if you want to hang out with your friends, if you want to have your computer time, if you want to, if you play sports or if you dance or if you're in some type of extracurricular activity or club organization, whatever, who cannot give 100% of your time to any one thing if you're always involved in 50 million things. So in order to make sure that you are giving equal time to all your various activities, you have to keep your things you have to keep your appointments organized you have to keep your planning organized know what you need to do step a step b step c in order to achieve that goal all that goes into into organization time management linear participating in class all right um the teacher will love it number one the teacher will will love it they'll love it they'll love it They'll love it. We love it. When, ooh, 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 ooh. I know, I know, I know. But this is the thing. This is what participation does for you that you don't recognize or realize. That you are now engaging with that information more frequently. When you participate in class, it gives you opportunity to opportunities to recall this information and to use it in your working memory. We call that short term memory. All right. So when you're actively engaged and you're recalling this information from your short term memory. All right. You then start to deposit these pieces of information and storing it in your long term memory so that it's there for forever. And so class participation does that along with completing your assignments, doing your homework, presenting to you. This will allow more opportunities for you to have that repeated exposure that you need for you to recall it from your short-term working memory and that it will start to deposit in places for that long-term memory storage okay so participate in class stay organized participate okay be responsible and accountable you know good and well that you have a test that's five days out don't wait until the night before to cram all right look at your task Break it up and study bits and pieces because you will remember, it's called chunking, okay? You will remember more if you study smaller pieces of information at a time and then add another component on, review the old component and then keep reviewing the two components together. Then the next day, 
study this other piece of your puzzle in isolation then bring in the other two parts and start going over and over and over the stuff in your brain your brain you have to actively engage in this information for your brain to store this information that's how you are going to optimize your academic potential and increase your academic achievement so i know this kind of sounds like teacher talk but it's the real deal holyfield and if you can do those things and start there, um, you will see, you will see a, you will see a huge, you will see a significant difference in, in your scores and what you're able to produce on paper. Um, for those that may have a little bit, you know, more challenges remembering things, I think I'm going to do some segments where we kind of talk about how you can do that. All right. Um, but again. Having a good school year, yes, looking good, and looking good will help you feel good. It does, all right? So yes, do watch the videos on, you know, what makeup look you should wear to school or what outfit you should put together, all right? And that's all fine and good. But when you get in that classroom, come back to this video so you can be the best student that you can be and learn, okay? So on that note, have a wonderful i hope you've had a wonderful first month or so a couple of weeks of school and i look forward to talking to you all in another video thanks for watching follow your girl on instagram follow me on twitter at the makeup baby 13 check me out on my blog the makeup baby the makeup baby all right follow me For my fall lips and so with different colored pencils you can really um you know change the look of your lipstick <laughs>